Hi there, this is Dr. Gallon Moore from Nortex Spine and Joint Institute. What I have in my hand is the model of a knee joint. Now, <clears throat> um, the joint can get in trouble for many reasons. You can have um, tendons, ligaments, or muscles get pulled, sprain, strain. Most of them get better on their own. You can have damage to the meniscus, <clears throat> to the ligaments, and um, you can have wear and tear eventually. You can have arthritis of the knee. Um, typically the first step of course is to rest, anti-inflammatory, massage. Um, if there's something major you want to see orthopod, but if there's something that is not structurally wrong, you want to try non-surgical treatments such as cortisone shots or halogen injections. We've covered them in other uh, parts of this website. But eventually, if we're getting unnecessary signals from the knee joint, um, what we want to do is we want to start uh, moving towards long-term relief um, of the pain signals coming from the joint. And in order for us to reach there, we need to test that treatment. So how do we test it? Each knee has mainly three pain wires called genicular nerve or G nerves. And they're all the time in a very predictable area. Um, what we wanna do is to put a small needle under X-ray at the location of these genicular nerves and put half to once you see local anesthetic there, pretty much numb these three nerves. If we numb the three nerves and the pain is gone, then that indicates that inactivating those nerves would result in long-term relief. So genicular nerve blocks are pretty much a test injection for the next step, which is rhizotomy or neurotomy of the genicular nerves. Thank you for watching.